Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Star and Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at why did he fall in love with you, the person on your mind. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. With all the piles we have here, take a look at all of them with the person on your mind and see which one you're most drawn to. I'm now going to show you crystals for each pile. So for pile one, we have Strawberry Obsidian. And we have the card Temple of Mary. For pile number two, we have Pyrite. And we have the card Language of Light. And for pile number three, we have this fluoride crystal. And we have the card Galactic Vibration. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, always trust your intuition. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose the Strawberry Obsidian card and the Temple of Mary card with emotional expression, playful innocence and exploitation, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at why did he fall in love with you, the person on your mind. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, so this card you chose, I kind of already get some of a vibe from it, but I'm first going to go ahead and pull two oracle cards of each of the three oracle decks I'm using, and then, um, little tarot cards on the side, and then I'm going to pull your tarot cards after that, so make sure you stay to see all of that. Okay, so spirit guides on my pile ones, spirit guides on my pile ones, why did the person on their mind, why did he fall in love with them? We have angelic realms with a team effort, charity, validation, and patience. So this must be my angelic pile, <laughs> my pile of earth angels. Yeah, because I mean, we literally have Mother Mary here, but also the angelic realms it does not get more earth angel energy than this. <laughs> um, I'm also noticing another card want to come out. Consciousness, self-awareness, personal realizations, and prejudice. I'm not going to include it, but just for extra information. And then at the back of the deck, we have divine creation with acceptance, personal commitments, and euphoria. So now we're going to use... Uh, this was the Sacred Light Oracle. Now we're going to use the messages from mermaids. So spirit guides on my pile ones. Why did he fall in love with my pile ones? We have mystery. <laughs> Why did he fall? We have feelings. And an extra card of relaxation, which I'm just taking but not going to include. And then at the back of the deck, we have inner knowing. Okay, and then now we're going to use the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. So spirit guides on my pile number ones. Why did he fall in love with my pile ones? Why did he fall in love with my pile number ones? We have the card pleasure. And we have the card Alchemy. You always have like three cards wanting to come out in each oracle deck I use. It's very interesting. Uh, we also have this card wanting to come out, Giving and Receiving, which I'm just taking as extra information. And then at the back of the deck, we have Level Up. 
Spirit is guiding me to use this Goddess, Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. So Spirit Guides on my pile ones. Um, I'm feeling Sacral Chakra healing. Uh, Spirit Guides on my pile ones. May I please look into why did he fall in love with my pile ones? And I'm seeing the number 444. We have cycles and rhythm cycles and rhythms with honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. We have endings and beginnings with the old must be released so the new can enter. Okay, now we're just gonna pull more cards. I kind of got interrupted there. <laughs> Um, someone I live with came home, knocked on my door, so I don't know if this person is going to come to you soon, visit you soon. Um, okay, so why did he fall in love with my pile once? We have home. <laughs> Didn't I say that your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants? And then one last card with unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. And then at the back of the deck, we have past life with the situation involves your past life memories. So now I'm actually going to talk about what I see here. Okay, so my pile ones, what I feel from your energy... As soon as I tapped into the energy, I heard the song That Very Night by Holly Cook, and I heard it in pile three in the previous reading I did today. So some of you may be from that pile, but I heard it in the beginning of your reading when I hadn't even um, pulled your cards yet, so I didn't exactly know what it was about. But in pile three of the previous reading I did, when I heard that song, for context, the song is about a woman that kind of had a lover, you know, leave her and just find someone new. And there are two versions of the song. One where she's like, how can I go on? How can I move on? Of course, you don't have to relate to this energy. However, I do see you're healing from something with the alchemy card. It can be relationships in general and with the endings and beginnings card. So, yeah. The song talks about heartbreak. It's a very sad song. And then there's a second version of the song that talks about like, like you'd be perfect for me for, for a new relationship, but then don't be a clown. Don't treat me like my last one did. Don't, don't hurt me because people have, you know, men have made me cry. That's what she said in the song. So um, in pile three, I was talking about how I was seeing a person say that they want to give that person the type of love that they never received. They don't want to treat them the same way where they have been hurt. So I feel like this is the energy I'm feeling for you. Like this person seeing your hurt and pain, seeing, you know, maybe the things that hurt you in your previous connections or it doesn't have to be romantic connections, but just in general and how you have healed yourself and honored your emotional expression, honored everything you were feeling in that moment and kind of learned from it, gained consciousness from it, gained wisdom from it and healed yourself from it, ended that situation and opened yourself up to newness. Because... When we are healing from something big, sometimes it takes some time to, you know, honor our emotions and process them and heal from that and then go through and mourn that ending with whatever person or situation it was. And then it takes time to open up to something new. So I feel like maybe you... I'm feeling like I'm tapping into the beginning of your connection or the beginning of when you met each other to now. And there is 111 here. So there's a feeling of this person seeing you and seeing 
You heal yourself, seeing you heal from the things that once hurt you and gain some wisdom from it. Accept that situation too. Like, I feel like some of you have accepted that situation fully and you're like now ready to move on. Or at the time this person met you, you were ready to move on and open up to new connections. Okay, so there's something about that and... Now the sun is rising again. You're opening up your heart again. Well, doesn't have to be now. I'm to I'm talking about like the energy I'm tapping into in the beginning. And then I feel like this person saw you and was like, I don't want to do the same thing to them. I want to really give them, you know, an unconditional love, a love that is pure, a love that is just big and treat them right. So I see that. And this person wanting to give you a reciprocal connection, be very honest and open with you from the beginning and kind of just give you the love you always wanted or needed. And I feel a very divine feminine energy from you, regardless of your gender, where when this person first met you, you had this very mysterious vibe and like they wanted to get to know you more and they were obviously very attracted to you is the vibe I pick up on, um, you know, with this goddess of stars here. She's the goddess of stars. So, you know, you may be someone that shines brightly and this person may have first been, you know, attracted to your appearance. Of course, this is how connections start. We first get attraction and then we start talking to them and all of that. And since the Hamsa hand is over her heart center, I feel like some of you were not closed off, but you were a little bit protective over your heart in the beginning because of the ending you had experienced that was so painful. And you know, you were a little bit discerning at first and thus the mysterious energy is here. But there is some sense of knowing this person had when they met you, like this inner knowing of like, this is my person. <laughs> and even if they didn't tell you this, I feel that energy because I'm looking here at this angelic realms card and it looks like fireworks in the background. And the pleasure card gives me this vibe of like, not just attraction and like being sexually attracted, but also this vibe of like, you know, in movies when someone sees a person and there's fireworks in their mind and there's this excitement they have, like, I want to start something with this person. There was this deep inner knowing within this person that is not going to be understandable in the 3D, but more so in a spiritual lens, when we look at it in a spiritual lens, because... We have so many spiritual energies here with the angelic realms and Mother Mary and how, you know, this is a past life connection. So this person has loved your soul before, has known your soul before in past lives. And there's this feeling of when he started to open up to you and started to talk to you, you know, you were kind of mysterious, but... There was something in his inner knowing guiding him towards you. It felt like a it felt like a divine sign. Maybe this person did receive signs because we see 111 here. Um or maybe this person just had this real intuitive urge to talk to you and to get to know you and to put an effort to to put in hard work to get to your heart. And with the wolf here showing up, I feel this person had pure intentions to be loyal to you from the start. And the reason why this person fell in love with you, I feel like it was something where there was love at first sight, but it was not just because of what we may think of like physical beauty. It was like an inner knowing of, I know the soul. I hope that makes sense. But what I'm seeing as this person started to get to know you, they started to see that there was not only an attraction and this deep like feeling of like, I need to know this person, I need to talk to this person and like them having patience while getting to know you, but then also this feeling of like, 
maybe them seeing a lot of signs or synchronicities everywhere when it comes to you. And there's, I'm hearing there's something different when it comes to you that they didn't fully know you yet, but like they, there was something different when it came to you and like something like where they had to have you. Spirit is showing me the notebook when he is chasing the main character woman. I forgot their names in the, in the story, but he's chasing after her in the scene and he's like, I have to have you like that type of energy. So, you know, wolves here also represent loyalty and family and all those things. So I definitely feel that energy. Um, and this person seeing certain qualities and traits of you like unravel. I'm hearing that song by Sabrina Cla Claudia. I don't know how to say her name. Is it called Unravel Me or something like that? As I said, unravel. <laughs> Sometimes when I talk, it like triggers either clairvoyance or sound visions. <laughs> yeah, it is called that. So I'm just reading the lyrics here. So basically she says here, I feel like in the song, there's a vibe of like her running away from him almost. Maybe this was you in the beginning because she says here, I know you're trying, but you'll never unravel me. And then she goes, unravel me, unravel me, unravel me. But I feel like maybe there was a sense of like you being a little bit discerning or I wouldn't say closed off, but discerning of who to open up your heart to. And there's a sense of like this person getting to know you bit by bit in the beginning and kind of wanting to put in a lot of effort towards you and... um. They were feeling pretty deep feelings for you that I'm not sure they fully expressed because it would have sounded weird or like a red flag to you. But there was this deep kind of feeling of like loving you even before they met you or like knowing someone out there is out there for them but not knowing who it is. And, you know, as they started to unravel certain parts of your personality, Spirit is now showing me a cat unravel yarn. <laughs> I don't know what it is with pile one and cats. I always see cats for pile one. Maybe you're connected to cats. Um, Yeah, getting to know more and more of your personality, they then start to see certain qualities you have and traits you have that they've always wanted in a partner. And um, I feel like some of it includes how honest you are, how loyal you are, how when you speak, you speak your truth and it comes from this place of integrity. You have a really big heart too. And I also feel like you have this powerful energy within you too that this person is very attracted to as well as you have like this pureness. Like I said, you're you're almost like earth angels and this is the vibe this person felt from you when they were falling in love with you that you're like the best person they could ever have is what I'm hearing and there's this sense of like, if I don't try, like, I'm going to miss out on this opportunity because this is like the one I want. This is my person. Like, this is the type of person I've been wanting for a long time with their qualities and traits. So I see him like seeing more of you and seeing more into your heart and just seeing how sweet you are, how much of a pure soul you are, uh, how much you just love and how patient you are. I think this person also loves the fact that you feel things on such a deep level. There is such a divine feminine energy, but also an innocence to you that this person finds beautiful. I'm seeing you are like a flower blooming slowly but surely, and this is how this person sees you. This gentle, delicate flower that they want to hold. Um... And yeah, I guess they're seeing your heart as like this gentle, delicate flower that they're going to hold but never, never hurt this flower. I also feel like you have such a good energy, a very healing energy to this person. And I feel like they really love the fact that you're in that energy of 
feeling things so deeply as well as as well as honoring your intuition too and your body and I, I keep saying there's this divine feminine energy but with the cycles and rhythms card I definitely feel that with you like almost this energy of this person wanting to take care of you and step into their divine masculine energy. Of course it doesn't have to be related to gender but I'm feeling the types of energies here. And of course, this person was also very, very attracted to you. I just saw 1717 17 on the clock. And that number is all about things getting better, like springtime starting again. Uh, the winter period being over is what I see that number as. So it's almost like this person wanted to bring in this new energy towards you where they were not hurting you, where they were giving you that type of unconditional love. And I think it's also the way you love so unconditionally. I don't think this person has ever received that before. It's like you feel like home to this person and that's why this person fell in love with you. And they definitely have really deep feelings for you, my pile number ones. But also the fact that you are someone super powerful to be able to heal something that greatly, learn wisdom from it and, you know, continue on your journey to create more in your life and level up in certain aspects of your life. This person sees you as sweetness, this cute, innocent, unconditional love person, but also this powerful person at the same time. I'm now going to go ahead and pull some tarot cards for you. Uh, Spirit is guiding me to use the Ethereal Visions Tarot. So let's see what else Spirit can show me for you. So Spirit Guides on my pile number one. Spirit Guides of my pile number ones. Why did he fall in love with my pile ones? We have the Five of Cups. It's like he saw your pain and it broke his heart. He felt it. This is a deeply spiritual connection. We have the two of swords. So it's like making a choice to not do the same for you. To, to give you maybe the love you didn't receive. Because this five of pentacles card talks about lack. but And feeling like left out. Feeling like you are not getting that emotional support you need. Or physical support but in this card it's very different because we see a mother nurturing a baby so it's almost like this person saw your pain and wanted to nurture that pain wanted to give you what you had needed but not received because I feel like you give so much unconditional love to everyone else around you but maybe this person felt a vibe that you never really got it from others so he really felt even with the Empress here, very, very attracted to you too. Like, you have a lot of attractive energies and beauty. And also, you know, there are some sensual attractions here with the Knight of Wands and this feeling of like, I want to rush towards this person. Like, they're the most beautiful thing on earth. <laughs> um, but also, they have the most beautiful heart. And I guess this is why this person fell in love with you. But here with the Eight of Swords, I feel like this person didn't show the sexual attraction that much in the beginning because they didn't want to scare you off or make you think that was all they wanted. We have the Sun card. I'm hearing you make me happy. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know if that's a real song, but it's like, you make me happy. And I'm hearing it in a child's voice. So it's not to say anything weird. <laughs> Of course. Um, maybe this person's inner child feels safe with you. And maybe your inner child feels safe with this person. Um, I'm feeling the inner child energies. Like you almost make this person feel like they are a kid again. Inside an adult body. <laughs> you know what I mean? And with the sun card, you really do make this person happy. You bring a lot of sunshine into their world. And... I'm hearing that song Mr. Sun by Green Tea Peng and she basically says Mr. Sun I need you Mr. Sun so it's almost like you're this person's sunshine and they need you 
Uh, we have the Knight of Cups, so there is this genuine, gentle love this person has for you, and the reason they fell in love with you was because of all these reasons, and it's like, I want to give more of love to this person, give them, like, the type of love that never runs out, is what I'm hearing, like, an endless supply of love, and make sure I'm doing that all the time. Make sure this person feels my love, doesn't go a day without thinking I don't love them. Like, and now I'm hearing that song. I'm hearing a lot of songs for you. Does this person like music or do you like music? Maybe you're like music to this person's ears. Um, I'm hearing the song, uh, They Should Call You Sugar, You're So Sweet to Me by Tyler, the creator. But in the end, he basically says, what makes you think... Um, that I'm not in love, something like that, so it's like he doesn't want you to feel like he, there is nothing there. Uh, we have the temperance card, so like I said, because you have this angelic energy, because you have such a peaceful energy, because you are this very harmonic soul is why he fell in love with you. And then we have the two of cups, so with the lion here on the two of cups, I feel like also the reason why he fell in love with you is because of the way you love so courageously, the way you open up your heart to him and he feels it on a deep level. He feels like you pour into him the same way he pours into you and he does feel a very reciprocal connection. I'm not sure if he hasn't had reciprocal connections in the past, but he feels like he feels like it it doesn't just match up, but you give him a very generous type of love that he's maybe never received. So I think I'm gonna leave your reading here in my pile number ones. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this pyrite crystal and the language of light card with rediscovery, humble wanderer and communication, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at why did he fall in love with you, the person on your mind. Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. By the way, we are starting your reading at 1222, so very divine energies and as I tapped into your energy without even knowing what your pile is going to be about, um, I'm hearing that song Lonely, like I'm so lonely, I got nobody. So I don't know, like maybe this person felt very much alone and lonely like before they met you and like, maybe you've made him feel less alone in the world, but let's first go ahead and pull some more oracle cards and see what else shows up here for more context. I'm first going to go ahead and um, pull your oracle cards, and then I'm going to pull tarot cards after. I'm going to pull two of each... Two two of each oracle cards I have from three oracle decks and then I'm going to use small little oracle decks, small little oracle cards on the side and then I'm going to pull your tarot card. So for some reason I could not talk there. Maybe this person was very shy when they first met you, <laughs> like in terms of the way they spoke to you. Uh, so spirit guides of pile two. Spirit guides on my pile twos. Why did he fall in love with my pile too? We have power of presence with a power struggle. Unlock your potential and authenticity. We have an extra card with inner oracle. You are the channel deja vu and self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm not going to include this, but it's just an extra card. So I'm noticing here we have the Libra Justice Scales and we also had that in Pile 1 from a different Oracle deck. So if you were drawn to Pile 1, you know, maybe there are some messages there for you too. And then at the back of the deck we have Golden Light Ray with Love and Laughter, Receiving and Giving Gifts and Passionate Projects. 
Now we're going to use this mermaid oracle deck, Messages from Mermaids. This was the sacred light oracle deck. So spirit guides of pile two, may I please look into why did he fall in love with my pile twos? We have breaking free. And we have innocence. At the back of the deck, we have recognition. Okay, spirit guides on my pile number twos. Now we're using the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. So spirit guides on my pile twos. May I please look into why did he fall in love with my pile twos? We have level up. We have worthiness. With these cards here, I'm not going to automatically assume something bad because we have the worthiness card here. Um, so let me just see what Spirit has to say. We also have an extra card wanting to come out here with Shine. And then at the back behind that is Radical Rebirth with two lions here so I feel like this is both your energies and in pile one there was also a card about shining so yeah very similar to pile one at the back of the deck we have rage <laughs> now I'm hearing that song I miss the rage something like that <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and pull these small goddess oracle deck uh cards <laughs> Do you see, even the way I'm speaking, it sounds like not right. Maybe this person felt very shy in front of you when you first met. Um, I don't know why Spirit is guiding me to do it like this, like why he fell in love with you from the moment you met till now, because that's what happened in pile one, two. <laughs> we have Guardian with you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Okay, this gives me some context into your reading. I feel like some of you have been hurt before with a power struggle uh, and I felt a lot of solar plexus healing in your pile which is confirmed by the worthiness card because the solar plexus chakra is all about finding our self-worth um, and finding our own internal power within and I feel like maybe in the past you were you had certain connections around you that maybe took advantage of your innocence, took advantage of, you know, you being such a kind, compassionate, loving soul, peaceful soul too. And I don't know what power struggle you had with people in the past, but there's something about that you breaking free from it and healing from it and maybe still being angry at the people that, you know, cause this kind of power struggle with you which is totally valid because I mean that is a lot to heal from but you broke free from it and I feel since that radical rebirth card wanted to come out with the shine card uh, maybe this person feels they can relate to that a little bit because I feel like maybe they've been in situations too where they had certain people, you know, try to put power over them and I guess try to make them feel powerless in certain situations where they had to break free from it too. And maybe that's why they felt very alone in the world because they felt like, you know, everyone was maybe trying to hurt them or trying to take advantage of them in some way. And it felt like with you... You have such an innocent, pure soul. And I guess we also spoke about that in pile one. Uh, you have such an innocent, pure soul that this person feels they can fully trust you. And with those Libra scales that wanted to come out in that other card, I feel like the reason he fell in love with you is because you're so honest, because you have integrity, 
with the way you speak with this language of light card, he can see and he can hear that you have this innocence to you, that you're not the type of person that would do that to him or would hurt him in some way. And with the guardian card, there is some type of protectiveness he has over you where it's like he wants to protect you from people that would do this to you, that would try to, you know, have power over you or try to control you in some way or try to take advantage of your kindness because I feel you are a really kind soul and the love you give is so valuable to this person because, I mean, you chose the pyrite crystal. Uh, for some reason, I'm always hearing... A song like if I was a rich girl no 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 <laughs> most of the days like in these piles I don't know why but then I'm hearing the part where she says um something like if I had all the money in the world it wouldn't satisfy me because your love because something about your love like I can't remember exactly what she said there but this is how this person feels like if they had all the money in the world because the pyrite crystal is about you know, finances and riches, but it's like, even if this person had all the money in the world, it would not satisfy them. Like, your love is more valuable than that. And I feel here with this energy, it's like, he wants to protect you. He wants to keep you safe, if that makes sense. And I guess that's what I'm seeing. And I guess when he first saw you, he felt like there was this very spiritual bond between the two of you. And there was so much light around you and still is. And there's this feeling of like him looking at you and feeling a very deep soul connection. And when he first met you, there was something about him like having a deja vu experience or him feeling like he's known you before because I feel this is a past life connection, a deeply spiritual connection. And in the beginning, there was this kind of energy. I'm looking at this mermaid here and how she's kind of covering herself, as well in this language of light card, covering their heart space. So, yeah, the symbology is very similar to Pal 1, because even in Pal 1, there was something covering the heart space. I don't mean to go back to that, but I'm just saying there are so many synchronicities here. <laughs> So maybe in the beginning, like when he met you, you were kind of discerning of who you who you can give your heart to because you broke free from this energy. And it's like, I can't just allow myself to get stuck in that anymore. And I feel like you maybe took the time to heal yourself, took the time to rediscover yourself with rediscovery here, took the time to heal and find your self-worth again after going through something so hectic and finding your voice again with the language of light right off, opposite power of presence, finding your internal power within. And I guess that maybe took some time for you to find that and uh, with the dolphin here, finding the wisdom from that because dolphins are very wise creatures, but also finding the ability to heal yourself and speak kindly to yourself with the language of light card and kind of like not just find the wisdom from it, but dolphins are also really playful creatures. Uh, maybe after you healed, you had to kind of take a leap of faith in in terms of like opening yourself back up to newness and opening yourself to the world again and kind of just finding the beauty in the world again, finding the playfulness in the world again. And that's not really easy. So I feel like with that lion energy we saw earlier, it's it's like you found your power and your strength and this is the reason he fell in love with you because he saw that power in you and he saw that like, wow, this person is so resilient. And he saw how you maybe created something different from that tough situation. Um, I also feel an energy here, like he fell in love with the, the beautiful words you had to say, because I feel like you speak with such beauty with the language of light. When you speak, there's something about that. Maybe you speak in a very poetic or loving way or there's something about your voice that sounds healing or when he was speaking to you in the beginning, it's like 
he can hear with the words you say and the things you say that there is this pureness to you and this type of feeling of like a, a valuable love okay I think he recognized you recognized your soul before he even knew what it was like I don't think he was aware it's a past life connection but there's something about the soul recognizing the other soul and seeing your anger towards that and like wanting to protect you so spirit guides on my pile twos spirit guides on my pile twos why did he fall in love we have leap of faith take a risk and put your heart's desire into action we have don't back down with stand up for what you believe is right I have another card here, but I'm going to cover it because there is nudity on this card. We have golden opportunity with important doors that are opening for you right now. Walk through them. And there's another dolphin here in the background. Very interesting. Okay, so with the energy here... When he first saw you, there was definitely a lot of attraction towards you, physical attraction, him finding you beautiful, uh, him finding you very attractive. And there's this feeling of like him wanting to give to you, wanting you to receive, you know, the type of love he's always wanted to give someone. I feel like he wanted a connection in his life and um, he was ready to kind of take a leap of faith towards you. He wasn't exactly sure that it would work out, but he was ready to focus on what he wanted and make sure he has it. With golden opportunity here, it's like, I can't miss this opportunity to be able to love this person greatly because I see this person has all the traits I want in a lover. They are like my wish fulfillment in a lover and I have to have this. I have to focus on, you know, building a relationship full of trust for this person and showing them that I care, showing them that I can bring peace into their life. And I come with peace. I'm seeing like an alien say, I come with peace. <laughs> I don't know, like if this person felt like they were very different in the world with the alien showing up and maybe they just felt like you would understand them. And I guess they saw your strength, but also your peacefulness, like you have a very sensitive soul and you feel things on a very deep level. But something about the situation taught you as you were purifying yourself and healing yourself, something about the situation taught you to have strong boundaries and taught you to, you know, stand up for yourself and stand up for what you believe is right. And I think this person just wanted to give to you, wanted to show you that you're worthy of a true love, may even see you as their true love, may even see you as the one or the person they're going to marry one day, have children with. Um, this person saw the way you transformed yourself with all you went through and still had that strength within you, still was okay. And it's like, they just knew, they just knew this was the one in terms of their intuition. They knew this was the person that they could not only love for you, my pal twos, but also the type of person they can grow with and transform with and reach higher heights with because you also have the strong ability to go after the things you want like them and kind of like focus your intention on what you want and make sure you're going to get it and kind of just take a risk towards it, um, you know, put an action towards it and make that thing grow. But also you have a lot of independence to you and it's like, I see this person seeing you as a life partner, not just, you know, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a lover, but more so a life partner, like the person that I want to grow with, the person I want to grow old with, the person I want to have children with or family with or pets with or a home with. Um, my kind of one is what I, it's not kind of, my one. And that's what I feel here. I'm also hearing my other half. So... 
there's this feeling of like you two maybe reaching your goals together, reaching success together, um, motivating each other. And I think these are certain qualities this person saw in you that they felt this is the one. <laughs> I'm hearing um, that TikTok sound that is like, hmm, hmm. yeah, that's the one, that's the one. <laughs> so maybe they had like other people that were interested in them before they met you and they were, they felt like, nah, that's not my person. They intuitively knew that. But with you, there's like this feeling of, I want to love you forever. Um, I want to show you you're worthy of love. I want to show you that you can be your innocent self and I want to protect you kind of energies, what he feels towards you. So I'm now going to pull some tarot cards and see what else I can pick up on here. I'm going to be using the Ethereal Visions tarot deck. So spirit guides on my pile twos, may I please look into... Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Look here at the back of the deck. All this lion energy. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have to relate to lion energy, but also we see so many dolphins here. Dolphins to me are really peaceful. They're really serene. They're playful. They're they're so intelligent and so wise, but they have such a beautiful energy. And I feel like you have that energy as well as a lion or lioness energy. And the lion represents strength, confidence, courage, finding that self-worth within us, um, finding that power within us. And, you know, when I think of lions, I think of loyalty and big hearts because you know, I, I've seen certain things with like lions and their partners and it just looks like they kind of take care of each other. So it's like this person wants to take care of you. <laughs> with the eight of pentacles here, there is this feeling of this person in the beginning wanting to put in a lot of effort towards you, wanting to show you that you're worthy of receiving that love from them too. Because I feel like you've given love to so many people, but maybe not received it back um, gracefully. And I guess this person wanted to give to you. So we have the eight of wands. So two eights. The eight is the number of abundance. And I feel like that relates to the pyrite crystal, how I said your love is valuable to this person. We have the Ten of Cups. What did I say? This card literally shows a family and a couple holding a baby. <laughs> so the Ten of Cups is like the most romantic card in my opinion. <laughs> the most beautiful card because it's like it's showing this type of vibe of family, of love, of this excessive type of happiness and you know, even this rainbow in the background creates this feeling of like excessive happiness and joy that is even just hard to explain in words. And with the tree here in the background, I'm feeling longevity because trees last a long time. They grow until many, many, many hundreds of years. And I feel like this person feels with you because of all these traits and qualities I've mentioned, that they can grow with you, that they can commit to you. We have the full card. So I feel like even in the beginning when this person never knew all of your traits and was just kind of getting to know you, with the full, they kind of just took a leap of faith and trusted in their intuition that what they were feeling was right. And even if it wasn't, um, even if this is not the one and if this is a false thing, which I don't think it is, they're still going to be loyal to you and still going to take that leap of faith and hope for the best. So I feel like this person fell in love with you from the beginning, but like when I say fall in love, I'm not just talking about love at first sight. I feel like since you've had a past life connection, the love we create in past lives is eternal. 
and it's still felt even when we're in new bodies, in new lifetimes. So this person maybe felt the love they felt for you in past lives and they didn't exactly know why, but they felt this need to take a step towards you and to open up a key to a new door, to this golden opportunity. We have the justice card. Like I said, you speak with honesty, you speak with in integrity, and I think we're seeing that same message here again with the justice card. I also feel like you are the type of person, Spirit is showing me as uh, Sabrina from that that series, <laughs> Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and how she would, you know, stand up for what is right. She would defend herself. She had quite a very rebellious attitude, which I loved about her. <laughs> Um, I relate to her character a lot and she always stood up for people around her, especially her friends that she cared about and I feel like you have that same energy too, which is why he fell in love with you and you shine brightly with the star card, not just in terms of your physical appearance but your soul has a lot of light. Um, this person feels like you just feel so serene to them you feel so peaceful to them like you couldn't even hurt a fly and there is this gentle strength to you this kind of unconditional love you give and I definitely feel this person came in with a plan like how can I how can I you know build a connection with this person so that we can build trust and build a connection on honesty and love and loyalty is the feeling I get here. We have the two of cups with another lion here. So all the lion symbolism is hectic for you guys. It's showing up so much. Maybe Google the lion symbolism. Maybe it relates to this connection and why they fell in love with you or lioness symbolism, whichever one you prefer or both. <laughs> but with the two of cups here, the two of cups talks about you know, the type of relationship where you pour into each other, where you really give each other that love, not in an equal way, but like, just like, I'm giving you that love generously and you're pouring back into me. We have the six of pentacles. So you are very generous. And I think that th this person, he fell in love with that quality and trait you have. Um, but also the type of love you give is very healing. Because on this Two of Cups card, we have a healing symbol, which is often used in, in the medical field. And with the angel wings here, like I said, your purity. We have the Knight of Cups here. So I feel like this person wanted to give you all their love. Wanted to plan to give you all their love, even if they didn't know all the reasons yet why they should love you. It's like this internal compass within them was telling them to go for it. We have the sun card. So I feel like you bring this person a lot of happiness and a lot of the cards that are coming out in this pile are similar cards to pile number one. So spirit guides on my pile number twos. Can I have two last cards for why this person, why he fell in love with my pile twos? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. As well as the Tower card. So with the Tower card, I feel like on the Ace cards, two Ace cards, the Ace card talks about new beginnings. So there is this energy to you where... This person met you and fell so fast for you with the tower card, fell head over heels in love with you. And it's not necessarily that they had to have any physical reason behind that. It's more so like, I just want to love you. I just want to commit to you. Like, I know, I know this is right. And to a lot of you, you may listen to this and be like, you know, I don't know if I agree with that, but like, this is a spiritual kind of love, a spiritual kind of feeling we can't quite explain. And usually sometimes that happens with these soul connections where, 
you know, that person falls in love very fast because, like I said, that love has been created in past lives and the soul remembers it. But when we have people out in the world, you know, love bombing and doing all those things, it kind of makes it hard to discern which is which. But I feel this person has pure intentions towards you and it's kind of like they just wanted to create the love with you and I'm hearing there is no reason to love you like why would one need to find a reason to love you because you are so lovable already and then we have the lovers at the back of the deck so this person definitely sees you as marriage material in terms of all your qualities and traits and just who you are as a person. So I think I'm going to leave your reading here, my pile number twos. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this fluorite crystal and the galactic vibration card with personal conviction, raising resilience, and direct channel, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at why did he fall in love with you? Please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm first going to go ahead and pull some oracle cards. Two of each oracle deck I have. I have three prepared for this reading. And then I'm going to be pulling uh, small oracle cards on the side and talk for a little bit, see what I feel here. And then after that, I'm going to be pulling tarot cards for you. So we're starting off with the same oracle deck you chose, uh, with the cards we chose. So Spirit Guides of Pile 3, may I please look into why did he fall in love with my Pile 3s? We have Cosmic Gateways with Insecurities, Connection with Others, and Refocusing. As soon as I pulled this card, I heard that song, um, You're Insecure, Don't Know What For, uh, like something like that like you know the song you don't know you're beautiful and then he's talking about all the things that make her beautiful I kind of just want to read the lyrics to you <laughs> or read the lyrics in general and tell you what I feel from it so the lyrics are you're insecure don't know what for you're turning heads when you walk through the door don't need makeup to cover up being the way that you are is enough everyone else in the room can see it everyone else but you baby you light up my world like nobody else the way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed but when you smile at the ground it ain't hard to tell you don't know you're beautiful but that's what makes you beautiful uh, so yeah, it kind of continues like that. So I'm kind of feeling like this person loves the little things about you. Um, you know, I felt a solar plexus energy, like, and a stubbornness with you. Like, maybe some people have, like, said to you, you know, you're beautiful, but, like, you've struggled to accept or receive those compliments. But... I feel a lot of energy healing happening in your solar plexus as you begin to, you know, love this person. It's like they want to show you the reason you're beautiful and not just physically, but also internally, like, you know, your heart, your soul, the things that make you beautiful in your personality. Um, and I definitely feel a strong healing there. So with this person, it's like they love the small little things about you, like the way you smile um, is giving me that vibe of like little things about you, like maybe the way your hair sits on you or your face, like if your face is cute or your, like I said, your smile, your eyes, like things like that. Um, but maybe also little things you do too that this person finds so beautiful or little things in your personality too. Um, I feel your person has a friendship with you and loves that they can not only have a friendship with you but also have, you know, more, have more of romance with you and I definitely feel this person, you do light up their world. You make them feel... Like they can create something with you. And there is a situation of this person feeling as soon as you came into their life, it felt like the right time. It felt like 
it felt like fate if I can explain it like that and I don't want to sound cliche but it really did to this person. They may have seen a lot of synchronicities when it comes to you like when they met you and as they were getting to know you. So now I'm going to be pulling two cards from this messages from mermaids oracle. So we have memories. Yeah, like I said, there's certain things you do, certain things you say that this person has in their memories of falling in love with you and you know, we don't necessarily see what the other person sees, but do you get what I mean? Like maybe this person saw your smile the first day and fell utterly in love with it. Maybe they saw your eyes and thought they were so dreamy, like, and then wanted to look at you more. Like maybe they saw the way you spoke to them and, you know, fell in love with them. There's something here associated to their memory of you and not only it justifying why they should fall in love with you and should open up, but also to be free and kind of open up to this love freely and courageously. Does that make sense? So we also have the love card. And this mermaid is naked, but she's kind of covering her heart. So I feel like in the in the beginning, maybe both of you were kind of shy to open up to each other. But there is this sense of emotional vulnerability too since she's naked you being an open book as well as this mermaid you being an open book you being someone really trustworthy even this mermaid is naked so with nakedness I don't see it as sexuality I see it more as emotional vulnerability and being like an open book with this person I'm now hearing the song underneath your clothes by Shakira and she basically says underneath your clothes there's an endless story and then she says there's the man I chose there's my territory so this person definitely feels you're the person they chose and it's not like they had to wait to find reasons to choose you they just trusted you all along because even though maybe their heart was a little bit not closed off but like a little bit shy to to open up or a little bit like contemplating like who should I who should I be with um with you it kind of just things just clicked and they just felt love for you and there was no need to overthink it in any way because you have certain traits that make you trustworthy. I feel like you're really, really deep too. And it was like this person just made a decision to be free and to open up to this. And I think they saw you to be very truthful and honest. As well as to have this very dreamy vibe to you that they loved and still love. And with the Galactic Vibration card, I feel like this person saw you and felt like you were very similar to them in some way. It's like they recognized your soul. It's like things just clicked with you and things were just very different with you in terms of their previous connections. Like things were very different with you where this person just felt that trust towards you like like you were a miracle in their life because it's like they were really hoping for love before they met you but maybe they almost gave up on love until you came around and I really feel like with you um, there's a sense of patience, there's a sense of support and you have a very unique personality, very unique traits within yourself with the galactic vibration card. You know, you may be that very unique soul that is very different from others and I feel like this person has a similar energy and they felt like you would get them you would understand them and that's why I say things just clicked with you I'm noticing also like a lot of pinkish purples here in the cards and it gives me this very intuitive vibe like his intuition telling you telling him to open up a connection to you and to not let the other side 
like the darkness here tell him to pull away from you but rather to open up to the sub and with the lightning here I kind of feel like it's almost like lightning just hit him and he just fell in love I don't know how to explain that but also in this card with all the pinkish purples, pink is an unconditional love color. It's the color of the higher heart chakra. So I feel when they fell in love with you, it was kind of like a spontaneous quick thing because they felt that unconditional love from you and they felt like you were trustworthy. They felt like you just get them and that you're very similar or that you both have very unique personalities and I don't know why I'm seeing a phone glitch or a video phone glitch so maybe this person fell in love with you like they can say maybe they realized they fell in love with you when you were on a video call for some of you of course this is a general reading only take what resonates I'm now going to pull cards from another oracle deck so spirit guides on my pile number threes may I please look into why did he fall in love with my pile threes we have wounded healer i feel like before this person met you they may have had a lot of pain within their hearts and you may have too and i guess you've both been on your healing journey liberating yourself from that and ever since you came into their life it feels like a miracle like i literally feel energy of miracles um spirit is joking with me and showing me it's a christmas miracle <laughs> of course you didn't have to meet this person around christmas spirit is just joking around but I really feel like this person feels you were some kind of manifestation that they've wanted um, in terms of the qualities and traits you have and that is why he fell in love with you but also as he started to get to know you uh, he felt like he could really open up his heart. He felt like you just really understood him. He felt very comfortable and safe around you and there's like this feeling of laughter, this feeling of joy, playfulness and I feel like before he met you he very much felt like he couldn't show his true self to other people before he met you and maybe that's why he gave up on love because I think he felt like there was no luck in love. He felt like he couldn't show his true self like he'd always have to self-sabotage and not show those true true parts of himself but with you he feels like you are the same person as him in a different body does that make sense and there is this feeling of oneness between the two of you with the cosmic power card at the back of the deck and this feeling of like even if you're not entirely like each other similar there are some differences between you two because we have the sun and the moon here but the dynamic feels like things flow the dynamic feels like it just feels right and it feels full of joy and it feels like you two can just be yourselves in front of each other with no judgment I feel like he's very empathetic in some way whether he realizes it, realizes it or not and with you there is some sense of emotional vulnerability but with others I feel there was a scarcity of that and there's something about like in his previous connections maybe they were secretly judging him or secretly not really liking him that much and I guess he felt the energy but with you the energy feels good the energy feels like things flow and I guess he sees the beauty within you and your soul and he feels such a healing energy from the love yeah let me go ahead and pull some of these small oracle cards now I'm feeling my lip as if I bit it I don't know if like one of you maybe kissed this person and bit their lip <laughs> I'm noticing two cards here with 15 so 1515, I'm just going to Google that angel number and see what I can find about it. So whether you spot it on a license plate or in a phone number, seeing 1515 is a specific sign of positive change and transformation coming your way. It is 11, not 1111, 111 on the clock. 
Uh, and while change isn't always easy, it is necessary and inevitable. And this angel number lets you know that you can access the best outcome with aligned action. Okay, what does it mean in love? Let's see. The number 1515 can be a message from your angels that your soulmate is soon to appear. However, it is also a number that invites action to facilitate change, which means that if you want to come across your soulmate, you will need to get out there and put yourself on the dating scene. I guess this is maybe what he felt before he met you, like some big change was coming and then he did meet you. And maybe he feels like this is a soulmate connection because literally the angel number is here. Maybe he feels you're, you're his soulmate and, you know, this fluoride crystal is a crystal of focus. So there's this feeling of him putting his focus on you and growing a love with you and feeling like with you there is this feeling of happiness, of joy, of unconditional love, this feeling of you are everything he's wanted in a partner in terms of your personality traits, but you're also really beautiful on the inside and out. Um, so in pile number one and two, I used a goddess guidance oracle deck, but in your pile, Spirit is guiding me to use this small little tarot deck, this Vanessa tarot deck, as an oracle deck instead of the other one. So you are my unique pile <laughs> and I feel like this is why he loves you, your uniqueness. I think he, he likes that. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So why did he fall in love with my pile number threes? We have the Hangman. But the hangman here was, for some of you, was he waiting a long time for love? Or were you waiting a long time for love? Or with the hangman, maybe you two were getting to know each other slowly. And as this person was seeing you in a different perspective, maybe they began to fall in love with you here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I don't feel a negative connotation behind this. I just all of a sudden felt so dizzy now. Like, as if, as if, like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like alien energy. <laughs> and I'm feeling a solar plexus healing. Maybe this person has alien spirit guides because you're that... That just, I don't know what it did to me. <laughs> it is a higher vibration than others I felt. And this this higher vibration felt very much like ET energy. Very higher vibration than normal earth spirit guides. Okay, so yeah, like I said, this higher vibration was sending you some solar plexus healing. But I feel with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel an energy here where it's not just sexual. It's not just like a sexual attraction. It's not just like seeing you and physically feeling attracted to you. There's more to it. Usually I'd read the Ace of Wands in reverse, but in this case I'm reading it differently. Like it's not just that. Do you get what I mean? With the Knight of Pentacles right opposite it, it's like, I want to focus on you. I want to, I want to really put in effort consistently to show you the love, you know, and with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this person saw you as someone they could build a long-term connection with, and, you know, this person is holding a key. So this person saw it as an opportunity you know, to open up a door to a potential of love, a potential of a long-term type of love that is going to grow stronger. And I, I definitely feel that energy and I'm hearing a plane move by as I say that. So he felt like with you, there would be a lot of movement and there's no need to focus on the past and why things didn't work out because he feels there was a reason why things didn't work out with his previous love connections because he was meant to meet you. 
he feels like you're his soulmate. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards now. I feel like using the Vibrant Oracle deck, which is the Queer Tarot. <laughs> Ace of Cups starting off. I haven't shuffled yet. Okay, so Spirit Guides of my pile number threes. May I please look into why did he fall in love with my pile threes? Why did he fall in love with pile three? We have the Page of Cups. I definitely feel like either you or him went through some things in the past or in childhood where you both had to heal from it or one of you had to heal from it and yeah like I'm getting that vibe like maybe you two have similar situations you went through um because the seven of swords is at the back of the deck and then we have the eight, eight of cups here and I didn't feel seven of swords energy with this person so it's like Either he left this behind or you left this behind in the past. I'm also smelling conditioner for some reason. Like, I don't know if this person loves the way your hair smells or just loves your scent in general too. Okay, so spirit guides on my pile number threes. Why did he fall in love with my pile threes? We have the page of wands two pages so there is this feeling of innocence in this connection like it's not like overly sexual it's almost like we're two people falling in love and you know you may be adults falling in love or in your late teens or late adulthood but it feels like it almost feels like a puppy type of love puppy puppy love or something like that but there is also a maturity and this feeling of choice to it and like this is what I want to create but also this feeling of like I just want to hold you I just want to kiss you I just want to give you love it's not like an overly sexual feeling it's it's more so like I want to hold your hand I want to do cute things for you um I want to give you forehead kisses kind of energy <laughs> I guess this person also feels like their inner child feels safe with you, feels like the sort of playfulness with you, like both your inner childs are coming out in this connection. We have the Ace of Cups. Maybe you also make this person feel young again, young at heart, uh, like, you know, when we're healing our inner child, we can finally do the things we've always wanted to do as kids. And I feel like there is this sort of, like I said, innocence when it comes to this connection, this genuinity. genuinity. And with the Ace of Cups here, I definitely feel you fulfill this person in a way. You pour into them in a way they've never received. And with the hand showing, you know, it coming out, I feel like this person wants to give the same to you. And they definitely feel like the love you give is also healing. Because we have these lotus flowers here and these tadpole leaves, the lotus flower is a representation of rebirth and tadpole leaves are a symbol of transformation. So maybe you've also changed this person in a way for the better. We have the eight of pentacles. So I feel this energy of like this person just wanting to give to you, wanting to put an effort towards you so he can show you the same type of love you've given him, which is exactly why he fell in love with you. We have the temperance card. So you are someone that is really patient. I'm hearing secure, independent. Um, you're also someone that is really connected to the spiritual realms with the high priestess here and I think this person he loves it he loves that energy and he loves the fact that you I'm like look, looking at these stars here I feel like a magical energy for you from you this must be my magical pile and an energy of like the love being alchemizing and healing and the sun rising again. You bringing color into this person's life again. We have the three of pentacles. I'm seeing like this person walk through life and kind of feel like life is just 
you know how in the olden days there would be those black and white movies? Like, he was almost seeing life like that. We have the Three of Swords and the Tower wanting to come out, so I guess he was in pain that he needed to heal from. So when it came to you coming into his world, it felt like the sun was rising again. It felt like color was coming back into his world. And I guess that's why I was drawn to using this tarot deck. And with the three of pentacles, he definitely feels like you're the type of person that works together with him, not against him in love. Like when you have certain issues, it's like you try to work together to transform that situation and to communicate. Um, even though I know you're not perfect, my pal threes, but he definitely feels like you are the perfect person for him. Like you give him the type of love he's never received before. We have the Knight of Cups. So there is definitely this feeling of him having a soft spot for you in his heart, wearing his heart on his sleeve for you. And I guess he fell in love with you from the start. <laughs> Um, like that maybe like he had his heart on his sleeve for you and he fell in love very quickly with you and knew things were knew it felt right like from the start because we also have the fool card um so yeah I guess it's like kind of like this person took a leap of faith towards you and was just like I'm gonna try this out if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't but I'm not going to let go of this because, like, I feel like this person has the traits I want in love with the manifestation card. I feel like with the hangman at the back of the deck, you even help this person see life in a different perspective and see themselves in a different perspective. And that's why he fell in love with you. We have the Ten of Pentacles again. So there is definitely this longevity when it comes to this connection. This connection feeling like a stable long-term connection. With the Ace of Swords, he may have also fallen in love with your mind and the way you think and speak. Um, he feels like it, it's in a really beautiful way. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. I also feel like you have this head in the clouds type of energy and this dreamy kind of energy to you too, whereas maybe he's more of like the stable type of person. I'm not saying you're not stable, but like I feel you're more like spiritual and head in the clouds, like dreamy type of feeling, whereas he's more grounded and I feel like that perfectly balances each other out. I'm hearing that song, uh, two of hearts, two hearts that beat as one. So this person definitely feels like your hearts are connected and like your hearts are the same, like you love in the same way. And I guess with you, I really feel the energy that this person sees you as, you know, a committed and loyal person and the type of person they'd want to you know, have a home with, have a family with, we have the four of wands, get married to, um, have that long-term stable connection with, and we also have the empress. So there is this feeling of like, you not only having an external beauty, but also an inner beauty that is beautiful. So yeah, I guess with the four of wands, this person sees the love to be so pleasurable and so full of so full of this playfulness and like this feeling of like he can be himself but then at the same time seeing your inner and outer beauty and like why wouldn't I fall in love with this person is the is the message I'm hearing here <laughs> um and I guess yeah that's where I'm gonna leave your reading my pile number threes. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!